Hello! Today, I'm going to do something a little bit different. In 1.8, you'll be able to create fully automated wheat farms and bread factories with the help of new villager behaviour. Now, this is nothing new. This was all released like back in January. But as 1.8 is slowly getting nearer, slowly, I thought it would be a great opportunity to explain how all of these new little systems work. So first off, villagers now have inventories. Not quite the same as a player's, nor the same as a monster's. Villagers have 8 inventory slots total, making for a maximum item count of 512. They can only pick up 5 items. Seeds, wheat, carrots, potatoes and bread. The primary new features are Farmer Test Certificate's abilities to replant wheat, carrots and potato crops. If they possess the appropriate item, they can replant. Villager to villager sharing. Villagers will share a portion of their food with foodless villagers. The ability to auto-craft bread, on the condition that they have enough wheat. Now this isn't a tutorial on how to build a bread factory, but rather an explanation of the mechanics and how to use them efficiently. All three of these new behaviours play a key role in automated bread production. To create the most efficient farms, you should be splitting villagers up and assigning them just one job. The first job is replanting. For this, you need a farmer villager the one with the brown coats. Only farmers can replant and harvest. As I just said, these guys should have specific jobs, so we need to prevent them from performing unassigned tasks. This guy, for instance, will plant crops if he finds tilled soil with no crops above. However, he will also harvest crops and pick up the loot. We need to prevent this as we don't want him picking up the wheat drops. To do this, all you need to do is fill up his inventory. He has eight slots, so if we fill them up with seeds, he'll be unable to pick up the wheat. As to why we don't want him picking up the wheat, it's quite simple. Villagers share more efficiently in bulk. But what does that mean exactly? Let me give you an example. To watercraft bread, a villager needs three wheat and a foodless friend. However, he'll never share 100% of his food. Three wheat is too little as he'll exhaust his entire stock if he shares it. If the crafter has 64 wheat in his inventory, He'll convert 54 of them into bread, so 18 loaves, and share them with his friends, leaving 10 wheat for himself. This means at that quantity he'll keep around 16% of the wheat. But the more wheat he has, the more generous he becomes. If this villager has an entire 8 stacks of wheat, so 512, after the bread conversion he will keep 38 to himself. That means he'll only keep around 7% of the total wheat this time. Basically, to get the most bang for your buck with automated bread farms, it's best to allow the crafter to craft in bulk. The third and final job is the sympathy villager. In order to get the bread out of the crafter's inventory, he needs to find a foodless friend nearby. If he does, he'll convert wheat into bread and toss it at them. However, we need to make sure the sympathy villager doesn't pick up the bread or we'll never get it back. To do this, we employ the seed trick again. Seeds are not considered food, so we can completely fill up this guy's inventory space with them, and the crafter will be tricked into thinking his friend needs food. He'll convert most bread he can and gradually toss it at the sympathy villager, but because he has a full inventory, he'll never be able to pick it up. And thus, the crafter will forever try to feed him, sapping him of all that wheat. And those are the basic principles behind automated bread farming. I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, a like is always appreciated. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.